These are the nurseries of Xochimilco in the south of Mexico City. They begin to turn red halfway through the year when the poinsettias, or Christmas Eve flowers, begin to bloom. Most of them attended by men and women who learnt as children to care for these symbols of the Christmas holidays. I prefer to be in the fields than in the kitchen. I love the beauty of this flower. I live from this. People invite me to go and do exercises for pensioners, things like that. But I say no, I can't leave the flowers because they are like my children. I love them. The love and dedication of these flower growers is essential for achieving Mexico's annual production of 20 million of these flowers. But it's a struggle that's getting harder. Many younger people are abandoning this work. They'd rather do other things. If you really work at it, you get results, but you have to work hard to pay for the kids' schooling and what they like, but you have to work from sunrise to sunset to get the best quality. Some say that these poncetias came from Guerrero State, others from Morelos, but there is no doubt they're 100% Mexican. These flowers bring us a lot of joy at Christmas. As Mexicans, we all enjoy what these flower growers produce. The flower goes by different names in different parts of the world. Easter flowers, parrot flowers, federal stars, crown of the Andes. In Mexico, its production gives work to more than 13,000 people, most of them in small family businesses, like that of Gabriela, who has a stall in the market of Acuescomatlo. This is about our roots, our culture, our work. I have been growing these flowers since I was a girl, thanks to my parents who taught us. This is a dignified, honorable job, and it's very important for us as women. In 2018, Mexico's poinsettia producers exported 40 million cuttings to grow these ornamental flowers. Most went to the United States, but Mexican flowers also have a big presence in Europe and in Asia.